Hey folks, Jenna Murgriffin here, and today I'm taking a little look at the Inokin U-Can, which is basically a stainless steel, um, but a 10 mil juice holder uh, with a nice push button mechanism for uh, getting the juice to come out so you don't have to squeeze the bottle tight. And it is designed with a nice little needlepoint tip for uh, filling tight spaces like Genesis atomizers and tanks with lips and all that kind of stuff. So let's go do the unpacking and uh, see what all the details are. So here's some close up on the you can portable e-juice liquid can. Um, comes in a shrink wrap package. The manual is the four pictures on the back of the screen. It, it, it's a jar for juice. It's not terribly complicated. You fill it up, you push to squish stuff out. Um, you seal the top cap. That's pretty much it. So it's like, get it out of here. And it is fairly solid and um, hefty. The uh, bottom button, which pushes it out, has kind of a spiral Allen wrench, so I think you could open that or adjust it. Um, the Inakin and the Ucan and the arrows on that uh, edge there are a little uh, raised or perforated, so it helps you get a better grip on it. Um, and it has the uh, top there for injecting your juice and then the part that holds the juice. And when you push that button, it pushes juice out through the sort of needle top. I was a little skeptical. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it seems to be more like a 10 mil bottle. I kind of expected it to be much smaller. Um, I don't drip a lot, so, you know, 10 mil is good for me for refilling tanks on the run if I need to. So let's go ahead and put my favorite. You need to be in a Carter tank juice in here. Doop, doop. That's probably enough. Then we're going to screw that cap back on. And looks like that cap kind of has those grippy writings on it, which makes it pretty easy to get a hold of and get tight. And then the top cap goes on top. And the top cap has a little uh, kind of hole in that top pointy bit where you could put a lanyard through or a chain or... So there's a closer look at that top cap with the uh, hole in it. And to fill your tank or whatever, you'll notice if you push the button on the top with my thumb, excuse my kitchen accident there, you'll see that it does pop out a significant amount of juice if you press it all the way in. Now you're kind of in control over, you know, how much you press. You can slow it down and just do a drop at a time. It depends on how hard you hit that bottom button. So if you push it hard, it's going to fill like a tank faster. Now there's that little stopper up on the top. Now my concern was what happens if that button gets hit when the container is all sealed up. Am I going to end up with just a bunch of juice in that cap? So I did the old, uh, let's give that a few hard clicks and then take the top off and see uh, what sort of juice puddle exists in there. And the answer is none. I mean at the most there's one little drop coming out of the needle. So obviously that rubber kind of gasket in the top of the cap keeps the juice from coming out even if you push the button while it's all closed up so that's fairly neat and should avoid the messies so folks that's the in a can you can um got a nice big round hole on the top there for you to put it on a lanyard or a chain or you know to keep it in your pocket it's fairly sturdy it's not going to squeeze it's not going to bust i expected it to perhaps um, leak, but that gasket inside the cap seems to work really well. Um, there's never any extra liquid in there to cause a problem. I kind of almost wish that spout was just a touch longer because it is hard to get um, such a wide 
flat stainless steel bit into some of the Genesis atomizers. It's probably not something that I'm going to use a ton because I'm not a big dripper. Um, I think this would be a little more useful to a dripper. I've been using it to carry it about to refill a Genesis tank, um, which is great because the harder you push on the button, the more juice comes out, but it's still a little slow for that. It might be better for somebody dripping, but you do get a fairly good control of, you know, one, two, three drops, or I want them to come out a little faster. So if you're a dripper and you're looking for a solid, uh, nice little piece to take out your all day vape with you, um, the Anakin Yum can might be something you want to take a look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. <music>